What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk in your pocket. And as you can hear, spring has arrived and I'm in Park Olivsky, aka Oliver Park, which is in Gdansk Oliver. Jeez, these birds are very enthusiastic at the moment. This park was developed in the mid 18th century, approximately, by a, uh, an abbot who was very passionate about gardening. And since spring has arrived, uh, it's a perfect place to come and enjoy the greenery and the flowers and all the aforementioned things. We'll be back in Park Olivsky in just a moment. Right now, we're going to exit and go around the corner to where our destination is. Today's Foodie Friday recommendation comes from Claudia Wheeler. And Claudia has recommended a place that a lot of you should be very familiar with, especially if you live here, uh, Mandu Pierogarnia. Um, they make pierogies. Um, one of the most popular pierogi places in the Tri-City, if not the most popular. I think they're in Wrocław as well, but I can't be sure. I'm gonna look for something a little different on the menu than the last time I ate this. So let's see what happens. So it's hard to find a space in uh, Park Olivsky to actually film um, food being eaten. So I've got a nice little view here amongst the hedges, the tall hedges. I'll get to the main course in a moment. First of all, pierogi love with uh, freshly made lemonade. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, not bad. Maybe a little bit sweeter than I'm used to in terms of like homemade lemonade. Not that carbonated, but you wouldn't expect that from homemade lemonade. Next up we have kapusta in a plastic container. I had a choice of kapusta or just normal salad. Uh, so I chose the kapusta, I figured. Okay, spachnego. Mm. There are little bits of apple in this, but it's actually not that sweet, which is good. Two slices of raw onion as well, which is also great. So to be more specific, I got wild boar, jik, popolsku, uh, in a creamy mushroom sauce. Uh, that, at least that's what the filling is supposed to be anyway. On the side, they've given me some cranberry sauce, which is leaking a little bit, as you can see. And then they have the option uh, kshibova sauce, which is the creamy mushroom, it would turn out. It's covered in crime scene, as you can see. Let's see how we go with this one. And here we are, wild boar pierogi. With the jibova sauce, pop it open. Okay, so, nice jik pierogi here. Creamy mushroom sauce. Looks like there's some dill in it. All right, so, it's much never. I was actually expecting little chunks of jik, of boar. But if you have a look there, it's minced. So it's got more of a consistency of like a pate or something. One thing I will say about this sauce is there's these lovely big chunks of gzhuba. A really nice little touch. Okay, I have to admit the uh, minced wild boar is growing on me a bit. Um, but since they included cranberry sauce in the, in the bag for some reason, I'll try some cranberry sauce. It's not, for build, it's not gonna score very well for this, I have to say. Grab one here. Dip it in the best it can be. I hope these are cranberry. I suppose they are. Anyway, okay. It's much more. I don't like the cranberry sauce, I have to say. I would say this, each to their own. But I personally don't think this cranberry sauce works with wild boar. That's just my opinion. Now guys, unfortunately today, I did order a dessert pierogi, charlotka, which is apple cake. But upon uh, returning to pick up my order, they didn't have any charlotka pierogi. So what they did is they threw in a piece of chocolate cake. I think it's chocolate cake instead. My polish isn't good enough to know, actually, so let's see. Hey, what do you think? Is it all right? Okay, my friends, it's time for dessert. A 
I've got cranberry stains all over me. Lovely soft cream. Mama. Lovely soft cream. Mm. I think there's raspberry in this cake. It's much better. Mm. This is not a bad um, substitute. Okay, they placated me. It's all good. So guys, what did I think? Well, starting with looks, uh, I know that mandu can do better, uh, especially if you dine in. Uh, everything generally looks a lot better and they'll, they always sprinkle some uh, onion and bacon on top. Um, however, the takeaway is a slightly different matter. It's uh, not the best presented uh, product. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna give them three and a half. As for the build, well, as you can see, everything was generally fine. The only exception was that cranberry sauce, uh, which was falling apart in the bag and causing a bit of a murder scene everywhere. Uh, so today I'm gonna give Mundu a four for build. Which brings us to the packaging. Packaging, as you can see, was almost entirely plastic, with the exception of the bag. Um, so they're not gonna score very well today, unfortunately. Two and a half for packaging. And now for taste. Like I stated before, I've eaten at Mandu, and I do agree with the hype. They are indeed one of the best Piero Garniers in the Tri-City. I'm not a fan of minced chick, but I have to say that the creamy uh, jibber forest mushroom sauce uh, really saved the day in that regard. Um, I don't understand why there was cranberry sauce, like I said before. It was just unnecessary mess. And let's not forget that they threw in a great little homemade lemonade and uh, that cake, raspberry chocolate cake in lieu of the sweet pierogi that I didn't get. But then again, that may have been a misunderstanding. My Polish is not the best. So for taste, I'm gonna give Mandu a four. I think that's fair. And lastly, the value. I paid 50 zwatis and 50 grosha for the meal you just saw. Um, a lot of people look at pierogi, uh, especially when there's only eight to 10 pieces, and they think to themselves, Oh, it's a pretty small portion, but trust me on this, pierogi is very, very filling. Mandu is a popular place. Does that mean that they've purposely overpriced things? Oh, perhaps, but it is worth it. So for value, I'm gonna give them a very uh, reasonable four and a half. How's that sound? So guys, what did you think? Where should I go next in the Tri-City? Leave a comment below. And until next time, you can check out all the great content that we have on Facebook, uh, at Gdansk in your pocket or you can see all the pretty pictures we have on Instagram at Gdansk in your pocket and until next time I hope you have a good week